Yo so guys, what is going on? It's a boy Dem 3 d here with your first official video. Finally, it's about damn time, right? Okay, so what I'm going to be getting at here is this game called Blade and Soul. It's been around for about a year and six or seven months already. Um, I just kind of wanted to give this uh, an in-depth view from a player who's been playing it since day one about whether you should play it or not and whether I would recommend it or not depending on your play style. Now, let's get to the basics. One, is this game noob friendly? No. No, this game is not noob friendly. It's not close to noob friendly. People really do not enjoy noobs and you're probably going to get shunned or kicked or shoot away from pretty much anything and everything that you try. The only thing you're going to have access to is probably random pugs if you decide to join any in the dungeon lobby or if you somehow get into a guild that is kind enough to bring you in that can also uh, help you gear up and, and not be a noob anymore so uh, uh, out of 10 uh, I would have to give this game about a 3 uh, in terms of new player friendly with the recent updates of the gear progression and the level progression and the story progression in this game I would have to actually change that 3 to a 5 if you're just playing this game for shits and giggles and you just want to have fun, I will recommend it. Let's get to uh, an important aspect of this game. Can you run it on your PC? Yes. You can run this game on a lot of computers. Can you run it well? Can you run it with high graphics? Can you run it with a nice frame rate? Can you run it with a nice MS rate. The probability of that is actually very low. I do not think majority of the people even play this game with more than 40 frames per second. Not gonna lie. In most instances, even the most top tier of computers will only get about 30 FPS during raids. When I play and I do raids, I get about 40 FPS if I turn characters off. Um, right now I I am using my computer. It has a, it's a MSI Z270 uh, Gaming Pro motherboard with an i7 7700K Intel uh, chip. Uh, it's not it's not overclocked. Neither of those are overclocked in any way. And I also have a NVIDIA GTX uh, 1080 graphics card, also not overclocked. And I'm playing right now at max settings, standing still, besides anti-aliasing with about 60-70 frames per second. If I do an action, that goes down to about 60. If I move around, it goes down to about 50. If I do combat, it goes down to about 45. If I do combat with players on, it's going to go down to about 25. If I do combat without players on, it's going to go down to about 20. If I do combat with low settings, with optimized settings, which is about... Uh, this is about as optimized as it gets if you want your game to still look pretty good. You get about pretty much the same frame rate. Uh, you get about maybe 5 or 10 frames higher in every category that I just explained. Um, sorry, I'm playing another game here. I'm trying to upgrade my summoner's war account so I can do a giveaway uh, in the near future an account giveaway that is um, so let's get on to the next thing uh, what type of gamer are you are you a PvE slash PvMer you like to kill you like to kill mobs you like to do dungeons you like to do raids you like to do solo instances you like to do bosses I would definitely recommend this game for you and about a 1 out of 10 I would give this game about a 7 or an 8 in terms of uh, PvM aspect this game has a lot of crazy dungeons this game has a lot of crazy solo instances and a lot of stuff that you really can't do if you have certain gear and if you get better gear and you get better knowledge of the game you're gonna do better than those dungeons so it gives you a sort of uh, a sort of a feel for uh, accomplishment in your uh, in your progression now this game is very pay to advance not really so much pay to win unless you do six versus six battlegrounds uh, but everything else is pretty much pay to advance besides the equalized 1v1 and 3v3 arena PvP. Um, 
So if you're a person that kind of likes to drop money, you're going to have to drop about $10,000 if you want to get to uh, the highest tier in the game, which is really not recommended unless if you want to help uh, keep the game alive and help support it. Um, this game has about seven different regions or eight different regions. It goes from Russia, Taiwan, uh, Japan, Korea, China, North America, uh, EU, and probably more. I don't really know. But out of all of them, North America and EU region are probably the most dead at this point, and they're probably the least recommended to play on, unless if you're stuck in those regions, you're region locked, you can't really play in any of the region, they would be obviously the recommended ones. Um, another important thing is, is will you get good MS? MS is really important in this game, MS is pretty much the latency uh, between, uh, the ping between you and your internet and your internet service provider to the host of the people that are hosting this game, which in North America, I don't know where it is in in, a, in Europe, but I know that in America, the servers are in Texas. So anybody living in, closer to Texas has better ping than people like me living in New Jersey. So around average, right now I'm getting 147 MS, 154. I usually get around 150 to 170 when I play, which is really not good. If you want a stable, good ping, you'll want anything from 135, 140, and under. Um, the fastest ping in the game is probably about 59 or 60 MS. Uh, if you give or take, every MS is pretty much, pretty much uh, multiplied by like 9 or 8. So take that down about 9 or 8 times, you'll get your real MS to the server. Now, if you play PvP, MS means everything in this game. If you miss even uh, a few fractions of a second or a nanosecond uh, of, of a tech chase or a roll or a get up or a tab or a skill activation or literally anything, that MS is going to be the deciding factor in what comes out of your skills and your gameplay. I can tell you I've been, I've been put in many situations where I've done things where I've hit my tab button or I fit an iframe and I was not able to get those off because my ping just did not correlate with my reaction time and it severely hindered my capabilities and it made me a little frustrated in those times especially seeing as as uh, I was trying to prepare for tournaments and do esports and all that kind of junk it was uh it was really not helping me prepare so if you don't really have good internet, you don't really have good connectivity to any servers in Texas, I would not recommend this game. PvE, on the other hand, is not really that much ping-based, although it still determines how much DPS you get. If somebody has 220 uh, MS compared to somebody who has 110 MS and you both have the same exact gear, the person with 220 MS is going to do significantly less damage just because the person with 110 MS can get off more attacks per second. And yes, that goes for every class. Um, so in terms of that, internet service providers and all that, if you have bad internet, I would really not recommend this game, especially if you're Brazilian, because it's just not going to work out for you and you're just going to end up frustrated. Um, I think there's... I think there's one more thing. Um... Is there? Well, damn. I don't really think there is, but if there is, I'll probably make another video on it. Anyways, I don't want to keep this video running too long, but if you guys enjoyed the video, uh, smash the like and subscribe button, maybe even comment in the comment section below, or even dislike the video. I'm not going to control you, I'm not going to tell you what to do, but I would pray that you would like, subscribe, and comment on my videos. I love replying to comments, and I love just seeing new people come to the community and talk about what they love to talk about, you know? So if you're a new player or continuing player and you want to see more videos like this or more guides and tricks or tips, please come back. I will be making more videos in the future. I will probably even be making another video after this after I realize what I just wanted to talk about. Anyways, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video.